All right, welcome back, savages. Now for the final touches, make uh, the metallic look for it and bring in an HDR file, make a cool video animation for it. And uh, let's check out this uh, front part here first. Let's fix that. So right here looks very flat. Ours looks kind of round on the front. So let's check that out. Tab key, one for front view. And let's select this face here, face selection. And I'm selecting that face there. All right, time for top view. Just try out a couple things, see if it'll work. I'm gonna hit R for rotate, make it a little more flat. And we go, not completely flat, but just somewhat better. GY, bring it forward a little bit. There we go, one for front view. And it's already looking neater, but I got this right here. I don't like that. So I'm going to go over to vertex selection. Check out these vertices. All right. Let me see if I can join these here. Check for join. It'll flatten out that face. Cool. So that flattened it out. And so that get in the way of anything there. Tab key. And cool. So that worked out there. And this part here looks kind of not as flat. So let's see what we can do about that. All right. So this might be this vertex here. So maybe we just pull it out. That might help us out. So let's go with the GY. Let me get a good angle so I can see it. GY. Let's pull it forward. There we go. Boom. Ooh, sharper corner there. There we go. Well defined corner there. One for front view. And all we did was just pull that uh, out a little bit more. Get that nice well defined curve there. Nice sharp edge. My right back's looking cooler. And let's see what else we got over here. So we got a couple uh, edges there, <clears throat> or a couple of vertices that don't have a corresponding vertex or an edge there. We'll just do that right now. Hopefully it doesn't mess it up too much. And there's another vertex here or no? Nope. So I must have got them um, lost when we um, <clears throat> did the limited dissolve. But we added one back in there, one for front view. And let me see GX, see that will help out with that edge there. I'll pull it out some. No, let me get this one here. GX, pull that out a bit more. Ooh, boom. There we go. That's looking better. <clears throat> looking neater there. All right. Overall, better look. And it's kind of flat. It looks kind of like it goes up more, but that's cool. That's looking a lot better than before. All right. So let's uh, bring in HDR file and start coloring this. And the only reason I'm bringing in HDR file first is so that I can make the material with the corresponding HDRI file. So I like to get HDRI files from hdrihaven.com. hdrihaven.com, enter. And I want like a Western outdoor scene since uh, The Mandalorian is pretty much uh, a sci-fi Western, right? A Western in space. There's a file here in HDRI Haven. If you go to HDRI Haven, free downloads. They do ask for donations. You can afford to give them some money, that'd be awesome. Uh, there's uh, these cool outdoor scenes here. There's one that's called, I think, Cure Redon that I often use for Western scenes. Oh, look, you can use this one, too. It has a lot of stars. That'll look cool. And um, you can go with any of these here. This kind of looks like the terrain. Uh, one of the uh, episodes from the from Season 2 where Baby Yoda was up in the, uh, the Jedi Temple. Obviously not these right here, right? Maybe here when they fought that, uh, that one lady with the staff. But you can go through these and see which one you like for your project. I continue to scroll down. Here's the one that I usually use. I already have it downloaded, but uh, to download these, uh, you don't save it from here. You don't right-click that. You're just going to get the image. You want the HDRI file. Other uh, these right here. You click on one of these and you download them. You go with 16K. That's uh, the best resolution they got there. And uh, that's just overkill. So usually I go, I'm okay with four. Uh, these are just a little bit too low for me, but four usually seems to work for me. And to bring in my HDRI file, I'm going to click on the World tab right here. And then to the right of color right here, I'm going to click on that yellow dot and then go to environment texture and then go through my files to bring in the HDRI file. Oh, click open first and then go through my files. All right, so we're about in my file. I can't see it. That's because I'm not in the render viewport shader. So I'm going over here to rendered. And also by going over to rendered, I can see many materials that are applied here and a better effect of the light on my model. So it takes a while for it to load. Give it like a full second or five seconds. I don't need this here anymore. M key, hide that away. Go away. There we go. And let me just hide this plane. I don't need it anymore. All right, so there's my helmet. No colors yet. Looking fire. And notice I've not applied the uh, the mirror modifiers or some of these subdivisions. I just leave them there in case I need them for later. So I don't want to get too crazy with them. All right. And let me bring down the uh, the light here. 
from an HRI file. It looks kind of bright. So here's a strength. I can bring it down to 0.25, make it a little less bright. That looks cool. Well, you can see um, these clouds here. So when it was at full strength at one, it was kind of hard to see those, right? Let me try 0.2. It looks cool. Up a little too dark, but let's see how it goes. All right, so there's my, uh, my helmet selected. I'm gonna go with the overall main uh, material using the principal BSDF shader without getting all crazy with the shaders over there. I'm just gonna use this one here and I'm just gonna call it main metal. And it's like a gray color, right? Dark gray color, see, there we go. And now it's uh, metallic, so I increase metallic all the way to one. Bam, there we go. And reduce the roughness down, make it shinier. There we go. Uh, a little too dark on the gray. Let's bring it up some. And let's maybe make it a little brighter with the HRI file 0.3. There we go. All right, all right, all right. Still looks very black. Let me bring in that reference image here. And I'm um, trying to go with uh, with gray. Uh, not that image. Where's the one I like? There we go. All right, materials. And let's uh, bring down the specular. Oh, let's bring up the specular. There we go. Specular tint up. Roughness. Let me go down lower. Make it shinier now. Go up. A little more rough. All right, cool. It's looking cool right there. And anisotropic all the way up. Anisotropic rotation all the way up. Makes it a little more rough. Still shiny. Sheen, let's try all the way up. Sheen tint all the way up or down. What do you guys think looks better? Clear coat. Uh, it's kind of like if we had a car paint on it. If I go all the way up, it's going to be a little neater. You can see kind of the other paint on it, but it'll look more like painting than than metal. So oh, I brought it up. See this? I, thought, uh, I brought it down. I thought I brought it up. All right. And then for the IOR, there's a website you can go to to find the IOR of metal. Go to pixelandpoly.com, you can find the IOR, which is the index of refraction, how light uh, uh, bends or goes through objects. And uh, you can just program a search for IOR pixel, and it'll give you the site result here, which I often use. And let's go through here. And it's best car metal, which is a fictional metal, but we can pretend it's like bronze or um, other metals. I think there's iron in here somewhere. Materials, critical order. Where's I for iron? Iron 2.95, so let's try that out. IOR 2.95, and see if it'll get a better result. Boom, can't even tell, don't notice a difference. <laughs> Here's another one I made earlier. So it looks like for the base color, I did go pretty dark on the gray. And then for subsurface, I went with black. So I'll just uh, copy these uh, features here. Also the HRI in this one is a uh, 0.5 strength. All right, so let's make these changes over here. A little 0.5, a little brighter. And then materials. And is that dark enough? Let's go darker. And then subsurface, which is like the under color. Let's go with black. And there we go. Metallic specular at 1. And oh, specular at 0. Roughness at 0.15. So these are all the way down. And roughness at 0.15. There we go. Oh, it's looking very dark. And then we got over here anisotropic at 1 and dot 0 0.5. Anisotropic at 1 and dot 0 0.5. Dot 0 0.5 on that one. All right, sheen, sheen tint. What were those at? Well, there's 0, clear code at 0.7. There we go. And this one's at 0.7 there. Then 0.7, there we go. All right, it's looking a little neater. All right, uh, also the other one, the uh, HDRI file was moved down a bit. So the lighting was different from that as well. See, from this angle, it looks different. So I'll make those adjustments later as well. All right, and I'm gonna apply this color over here to, to this one as well. So I'm gonna click here on the marble, main metal there. And then the side part has different metals. But I'll apply this one there anyways, and then I'll make up, uh, I'll use the other metal in a bit, main metal. And then what does the back part have? So it also has the bulk metals there. Let me just hide that one. 
and then then we'll give that one as this as well all right and then i'm going to make a secondary metal for these lighter colors on um, those parts there for the whatever that earpiece thing is and maybe i can make one for the the center of the helmet i'm not sure if that's a different color but some of the other pictures there this light seemed to reflect off differently i don't know if it's a different material or what but the side piece is definitely a different lighter lighter color there so let me select that three for right view that's the one key to zoom in center shift z for wireframe sorry shit, i don't need wireframe tab key for edit mode there we go and i'm select uh, all the other parts a and then deselect the end of the center parts here that are darker alternate let's see alternate shift deselect that inside part there we want this part though and we want that piece there and this one there <clears throat> and deselect that one all right and now what the heck am i doing oh yeah so those are going to be dark and then everything else is going to be that silver color all right so plus and it's going to be called lighter metal a lighter metal metal color and just got my settings here for that one and silver color metallic all the way up subsurface the same and roughness something like that all right so let's go with the gray color metallic all the way up and actually set a sign so i can see it there we go tab key i can see it being made here and i hope this one does not have it this one should have the other metal cool that is main metal there and these other ones can have this lighter color just reflecting off of the rest of it there it is all right and then oh i need to make the inside dark as well here these little slots and face selection that i get the inside there main metal sign and then these in here too main metal sign there we go all right all this lighter metal there i don't really like the color of it there i don't know if there's any more changes i got to make for the secondary lighter metal roughness dot 117 that's close enough oops there we go slider metal there we go all right specular dot five specular is actually down at zero for this one and specular 10 roughness is dot 117 there we go and now they're looking the same huh lighter metal second lighter metal all right and then unless these are all the way up over here and then what i do with the sheen sheen and sheen team were also all the way up sheen and sheen tint <clears throat> clear coat was brought down that's cool those are all the same all right so it's just the lighting and it should look different let me try making a lighter gray let's see i can get this hex code here so I can have the exact same color. Then I can go over here and type the color in there. Nope, oh, went down a little bit more. Oh, it's gonna get it's gonna go up. Alright, so there it is. And then I gotta apply that color to this uh, the back part here, the parts on the inside or outside. Let me check out that other reference picture. And the parts on the outside, I'll make them the lighter color. Alright go away so this one i want now i'm going to name this one should name it a long time ago let's see it's a three quarters image all right that's small and then the outside part it's going to be that color so i'm going to a select all control one and then i'm going to deselect the center ones here with the circle select there we go. And I gotta get these sides up here too as well. Actually, you just go like this and then reselect that part there. There we go. And that's gonna be the new metal plus sign. And lighter metal. There we go. Sign. There we go. Tab key. Cool. There we go. And then, is that a different color? Let me check out one of these other reference ones here. Yeah, see that middle part looks like a different color. 
but I'm just going to leave it as is, as we have it now. What did I just hide? Here we go. All right, we'll change it. It's bugging me. So it's like the top part, tab key. That's more cute. Zoom into this bad boy. All right, we'll hold on the alternate key, select that edge there, and then deselect that part there. Circle select, deselect those down there. Shift Z. Circle select, deselect those. All right, now what I do need, and back here, I'm going to deselect the ones in the back. There we go. And then this one we do want. All right. And then that's going to get that new color. Assign material icon, lighter metal, assign. There we go, tab key. Cool. All right. Now let's make a color for the visor here. So tab key. And one for front view. And let's select the, the visor parts here. So let's see for circle select, small circle. Select these faces here for the visor. All right, and got that there. Cool. All right, plus sign. New. We can just call this one window tint. Enter. Assign. And that one's obviously just going to be black. Boom. It's like all the way up, make it very reflective. Roughness all the way down, make it super shiny. Uh, clear coat, that'll be like car paint. We can bring that up. All right, bring that down. And I can even look up the uh, IOR for for uh, glass. I didn't look it up for the other metal there. Let's see what they got in here. Glass, glass, glass. Some glasses up here, a bit of quarter. 1.5, very close. 1.5 there, oops. 1.5, there we go. Tab key. All right. Oh, look at that. Sick. All right. And now we're going to go over front view, make this the camera view decimal. Zoom out, control, alternate zero. That's my camera view there. And I can hide this image there. I don't need this reference anymore. And I'm going to bring in the HDR file down a bit. So I'm going to go over here to shading. And then I move the HDRI file. Let's go over here to zero for camera view and then we're going to change this to world and now i can use shader and notes here to manipulate the hdr file so shift a search you're going to bring in mapping click and vector to vector right there and then you're going to need texture coordinate as well shift a search texture coordinate and connect generated connect generated there to vector and there we go and then we're going to change the location here the z we're going to change it so we can uh, make an animation. You don't want to see this town down here, right? This is obviously the on Earth, and this takes place somewhere in space. So let's play around with the Z right here. So we can just get the horizon there. All right. If you really want to be uh, fancy with it, you can select the camera. Go over here to the camera tab, and then go over here to viewport display, and then open composition guides, and then you can use a rule of thirds there. So you can position your uh, Mandalorian right in the center. And then you can try to position the horizon along this line here. All right, that's looking good there. I actually want to make an animation so that the camera spins around it. So I'm going to bring in a Bezier circle, Shift A, and then curve, and then circle. There it is, GZ. I'm going to bring it below it. There we go. And then I'm going to have the camera follow that circle right there. Let's go back to layout. And then now we got that set up there in case we want to go back to it and make adjustments. All right, I got the camera selected. Now I'm going to go over here to constraints and add object constraint and follow path. So it follows that path, the busier circle target. So that's busier circle. All right, and I'll follow the curve. And let's see, one of these angles should be good. There you go, Z, Z there, enemy path. Let's hit the play button. It's going to loop around in 100 frames. Nope, not yet. Let's see, enemy path, play button. What am I missing here? Uh, maybe it's just the, the forward axis there. Yep. All right, let's go with the X there. And then we'll just shift my camera up so we can see it better. All right, camera selected GZ. We're going up. 
and try to center the Mandalorian somewhat. There we go. Play button, see if it stays in the center. Yeah, it stays inside of the the, the grid mark there, the center section. Cool. So we can record it like that, or we can actually have the camera kind of look down on it a bit. So we can go up higher, GZ. And then RXX, do one of these there. There you go, you can have the, the eye line there, go through the eye line there. All right, looking good. So now I want to play around with the HRI file so that I don't get this uh, city down there, this little town. Look at that, what are those little triangular cylinders? Cylinders with cones on top? It's like somebody made this town in Blender. All right, shading. And let's play around here with the Z setting. All right, cool. Can't see the town there. Let's see if I can see the town anywhere else. I just hit the space bar for that. All right. And let's go back to layout over here. And let's make sure I don't see any buildings down there. Oh, they're kind of out of the distance. You probably can't tell. Maybe nobody would notice it. It is uh, spinning pretty fast. It's actually spinning at 100 uh, frames for one full rotation at 360. So I'm going to slow that down. So I'm going to select the Bezier circle here. And then Properties Panel, click on Curve Data, Open Path Animation. Don't click on that check mark. It's going to remove it and change the frames to 250. And now it'll take 250 frames to complete a full rotation. All right, play button. It'll rotate a little slower now. And there we go. Cool. Say so I'm noticing something. Um, the helmet obviously looks very thin. You can see right here at the bottom. You can see the bottom of it here. It looks super thin. And I don't like that look too much. So I'm going to do something about that. So I'm going to take my helmet. Take like my helmet head. Helmet head there. Take it to edit mode. And I'm going to select the outer brim here. Tab key. Or try to. See edge selection. And cool, I got the whole loop or most of it. I gotta try to select these over here. Alternate shift. I'm trying to get the whole bottom edge there. There we go. I think that's everything there all the way through. Cool. And I'm just gonna hit ES. I'm gonna go in a bit. Let's see how much should I go. There we go. Went in further and some sides and others. And then I'm going to extrude up from there. Just enough so you can't see it in the camera. So I think that's good there. Zero over camera view and then space bar. Just try to give it some depth. And it looks like it kind of smoothed out the outer edge. If not, I can sharpen it up. Go, there we go. Let me click away from it. <clears throat> this is the way. All right, cool. So I'll pause that. And just in case it did uh, soften up that, out that outer edge there, I can fix it. And this inside part, let's keep going up. GZ. And then let's go inward a bit. All right. And then I'm going to select this loop right here on the outside. I'm going to sharpen it up. All right. Shifty. There we go. Nice sharp edge there. Tab key. There we go, and we got some depth to it. Do a camera view and show that angle again. We can kind of see the inside. Cool, doesn't look paper thin anymore. I like that. All right, so let me go over here to render uh, screen reflections. It's already on on mine because of uh, a glitch I have on my computer. And then bloom, a little bit of glow, ambient occlusion, motion blur. All right, let's check this out. There we go, there's some of that bloom right there. And let's see where my uh, light is at, see if it's relative to the to the lighting here in the, in the HRI files. So my light is right over there. 
So I want to move it more towards the, that section over there where the light is at, where the uh, actual light is coming from. And let's look at the runeter. Let's go further out that way. And there we go. Seems to work a little better. All right. There we go. I can hear the Mandalorian song already. Cool, 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 cool. And there we go. Some ambient occlusion there. It's kind of strong, so let's try to bring it down some. Let's try the radius down a bit. And there we go. You can still see some of that right there. Let's go back to some frames. I don't want the uh, all these details lost that I worked so hard on. There we go. Yeah, I don't want a little bit of it there. That's cool. <clears throat> Boom. All right. This right here probably needs some more smoothing. We saw some geometry there. And let's increase this. Yeah, definitely needs a lot more smoothing. Let's try four. All right. It's looking better there. Didn't mess up the rest of it. All right. And then the back part, not sure how much smoothing I used on it. Let's see there. Uh, looks good. And oh, yeah, I didn't use a smooth uh, subdivision surface modifier, it's messing me up, so I just left it as is. It looks cool. All right. So now I just got to render this out. Let me just render one frame, see how that looks. F12. All right, so there we go. We got one frame there. Um, you can see some of the geometry there. They can try increasing the smoothing. And you can see one sun. You know what? I can duplicate the light. And then we got like two suns, which is not uh, uncommon in Star Wars. So let's try that out. All right. Let me go over here. There's my light. And shift D. I'll put one like over here. See over camera view. So maybe we get two reflections on, on it. Maybe bring that one up higher. GZ. There we go. Zebra camera view. All right, all right, all right. There you go. Got two of them there. All right. And let's check out the helmet here. I can still increase the uh, subdivisions. Make it smoother. Add another subdivision modifier. Let's see what happens. Let me save it first because I don't want this to crash. Let's see. There we go. Subdivision surface modifier. Boom. All right. So it actually did crash. Uh, instead, I just increased the viewport level here by uh, one more unit. So from five to six and this bottom one here too. So now let's see what I get if I uh, render out this uh, one file here, this one frame. All right, so there it is. So that does look a lot neater there. I don't see a lot of the geometry there. It does look a lot smoother. Uh, that's kind of bugging me there, but whatever. I can live with that. Still has that overall arch right there. Cool. So now I'm going to uh, render this out as a video. <clears throat> we uh, already got these settings going. I'll put... Uh, change the PNG here to FFmpeg. Actually, yeah, I'll do that. FFmpeg so I can get an MP4 encoding. Change from Atroska to MPEG4. It'll convert it to an MP4. I'm going to click on this folder here and choose a save location and give it a name. All right, so I actually did go in there and fix it. And then also I noticed this little blemish here, so I'm just going to hide that there. So front view, G for grab. I'm just going to tuck it away, and it'll fix that part there of the mask. There we go, bam. And I didn't mean for that to go up. So what's going on there? I'll bring it down right now. GZ, it's starting to slow down because of the um, all the subdivisions I have on there right now. Super lag. All right, I think uh, instead what I should do is uh, just merge those vertices there. So I'm gonna undo, that'll be easier to work with. 
it would look a lot cleaner instead of having a four silk there together. All right. So I'm going to select this one here and then that one, M key, merge at last. Nope, not the center. It's going to merge at the center. Oh, I guess that did work. All right, select that one, select that one, M key, merge at last. I should clean that up right there. Cool. There we go. That looks a lot neater now. And there we go. All right. Back to object mode. And I'm just going to render this out. Control F12. And then wait forever for this thing to render. Uh, 200, 250 frames. Uh, that's cool. And here we go. And that's not what I was looking for. All right. So let's try that again. Maybe it was the uh, way up my computer telling me it's going to crash. Control F12. And let's render this animation. Troy F12. There we go. All right. So I've got to wait for this. And then that'll be it. And here we have it. So I'm really happy with the results. I like it. I'm going to upload this to social media. Thank you for watching. Have an awesome day. If you like to support the channel, you can subscribe. You can like. You can comment. You can share. You can watch all these videos. I definitely appreciate it. Um, especially watching the whole videos and subscribing. It's the best thing you can do. And also um, hitting that notification bell so you can stay up to date if you're, uh, if you're already subscribing. Thank you, and have an awesome day. Bye. I can bring you in warm, or I can bring you in cold. I like those odds. I'm a Mandalorian. Thank you.